Today, we will fix the Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We will cover the installation of KEXT. Now what is KEXT anyway? KEXT stands for Kernel Extension. KEXT files extend Mac OS X's kernel, the core part of the operating system, by providing additional code to be loaded when your computer boots. Generally, we are using OpenCore Bootloader. The KEXT are stored under the AFI folder, OC, then KEXTs. Now, how to know your Intel Wi-Fi model on your device manager then network adapter. If you're using Windows or the hard way, open your machine. The model of the Wi-Fi card can be seen on the upper part. If you have a modern machine, your motherboard may support a specific kind of slot of that Wi-Fi card, like the M.2 slot, while the older Wi-Fi card are smaller. And if in case you want to upgrade your Wi-Fi card, on the description box, I provided my website link. Click the Shop Now button on the top, and it will link to my affiliate shop. I listed all the supported Wi-Fi cards so that you can easily add to your cart. Here's our list of supported Intel-based Wi-Fi cards. I will link this below. Now let's fix the Bluetooth. If you're running Monterey or above, these are the files needed. If you're running Big Sur and older version, here are the needed texts. For the Wi-Fi, we have two available texts. ITLMW text. Airport ITLMW text. You don't need to install them both, just choose one text. For ITLMW text, you will just need to install Heliport app. Go to your computer with internet connection. The link of Open Intel Wireless is on the description box. Let's download the Bluetooth. Click the latest release on the right. Click the zip file. Click the link for the instruction for Monterey and above. Let's download the Bluetooth fix up. Click the latest release, then click the release.zip file. Go in back to open Intel wireless page. Let's download the Wi-Fi texts and heliport. Just follow along on this video. I will download the both of the files to demonstrate how to install them. Download according to your Mac OS version. I will use the Monterey version. Now download heliport.dng. By now, you should have these files. Transfer them to your desktop. In case if you're using Sonoma, Google for Sonoma version of ITLMW. Just go though the bottom of the page and the version for Sonoma is developed from time to time. They are developing the kex to have them fully stable and usable. We also need OpenCore Configurator. Just Google it and download it from Mackey's website. Extract Blue Tool Fix Up Kex Tent Open Core Configurator. Cut Blue Tool Fix Up Kex Tent Open Core Configurator on your desktop. Delete the zip file OCC and BCRM patch. Delete the BCRM patch folder and OCC folder. Now, grab a USB flash drive and copy them, then transfer it to the Hackintosh that needs to be fixed. Now this is the machine that needs to be fixed. No matter how I turn the Bluetooth on, it won't.
I transferred all the files on my desktop. Let's do the Bluetooth. Extract Intel Bluetooth.zip and go inside it. From here I only grab the Intel Bluetooth firmware. From Open Intel Guy, these three should be installed. But on my case I just need the Intel Bluetooth firmware and Bluetooth fix up. This worked for me. You can try to install the those three kext and try it out if it works on your machine. Highlight Bluetooth firmware and Blue fix up kexts, then copy them. Open Open Core Configurator. Above it, mount the partition of your SSD, put your password. Go back above it, and open the partition. Go to the Kex folder. Then paste the copied Kex there. Go back up into the folder. Duplicate the config.plist. This will be our backup if in case it messes up. Since our config plist is already open, click Open Core Configurator. Click Kernel. Click Scan or Browse. On the left, click No Name. Click EFI. Click OC. Click Kexts. Click Open. Now the Bluetooth fix-up and Intel Bluetooth firmware are added on the configuration. Enabled at the far right. Go to File and Save. Exit Open Core Configurator. Let's restart. Now let's test the Bluetooth out. Let's try to send some file from this Hackintosh to the Andro phone. Seems it worked, it received the transferred image. Now, let's fix the Wi-Fi. I will install the airport TLM kext. Double click the zip file to extract, then copy the kext. Using OpenCore Configurator. Mount the EFI folder and navigate the KEXTS folder so that we will paste the airport TLM. KEXT. Go back and open the config plist using OpenCore Configurator. Now on kernel, scan or browse again the KEXT folder. The airport TLM is added on the configuration. Go to File. Click Save. Now restart the Hackintosh. Let's connect to the internet. 
Now the Wi-Fi is able to see the available network on my area. Now, let's try to install the ITL WM Kext. Extract the Kext and install the Heliport DMG. Drag Heliport to the application folder. The method is the same. Copy the Kext into the Kext folder of the AFI. Using OpenCore Configurator to mount the partition and add the kext into the configuration. Now it's added. Since Airport and ITLWM should not be installed both, I will disable Airport ITLWM at the right, so ITLWM will be the one enabled. Go to File then Save. Close OpenCore Configurator. We will add Heliport at startup on the settings of the Hackintosh. Search for Login Items. Click the lock icon on the lower left and put your password. Click the plus button and add heliport. Restart the Hackintosh. Now you see this error. Just go to the settings and on security. Click the Open Anyway button. Click Open. The heliport will be loaded in the taskbar. Let's see the networks. There are two network icons. The right one is disabled since we are using heliport app. Hold the window key on your keyboard and drag the icon to remove it. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Remember, you don't need to install these to Wi-Fi Kext. Just choose one.